so now I will create a cloud SQL instance with only a private IP so I am on a cloud SQL page so let me click on create instance I'll select a MySQL okay and here we have option so I'll just give a MySQL dev okay the password we can generate so if we generate it will just generate a random password let me show you so it will generate a random password so I don't want to uh, generate so I want to give my own password so I'll just give my own password okay and here we have option to choose a environment either production development and sandbox and you can see this pricing will vary based on the environment you will choose so if I choose for production it is saying uh, 1.23 dollar per hour which is a very high it's for 30 dollar per day so if I go for development then it is a 7.21 dollar per day and for sandbox will be more uh, like it will be less so that is 3.38 per day but this uh, the options high availability option is not available so most of the options are available and features are available in production so what I will do I will choose a production and then I will customize the configuration so currently I will choose a production and here you can see the configuration details what it will set for production so it will use a 8 CPU 32 GB RAM or a memory and 250 GB storage it will use but I don't want this much but I want a production features so what I will do I will just go down and I'll configure my instance or customize my instance so I'll keep it a multiple zone and here your option customize your instance so what I will do I will use some uh, lower power machine so instead of 8 CPU I'll go for one CPU now you can see the pricing reduced very high and I will use HDD so it is not recommended for production but as I am using only for my testing and POC I will use and I start with a 10 GB of storage and I will set this flag enable automatic storage so if it is reaching around 10 GB it will automatically increase it so I will start with a smaller storage so now you can see the pricing is reduced drastically earlier it was almost $30 per day but I am using the production feature with a lower configuration now I will go to a network part so here I don't want a public IP so I will only enable private as I go for private it will ask me to choose a network so in network I already created one uh, custom VPC I will use that I won't use a default VPC that is not recommended so I created my custom VPC I'll choose that and it will ask us to set up a private service access connection so for first time here already have option here so I'll just click on setup connection so it will ask to enable API and we have to allocate some IP range okay so IP range allocate new IP range and I'll just give private service connection PSC and range I'll give 10.0.0.0 .0 .0 24 okay so you can give any or if you want automatically also it will take an IP range okay and I can create private service connection So this private service connection is used to communicate with internal IP address and that is created in a VPC so you cannot access this outside your VPC it is only for a VPC even if you can see it is per VPC okay now this is created and let me go down data protection I will just disable this delete deletion protection and all options will be here or maintenance window backups so we can customize we'll just keep it as it is enable deletion protection 
I'll remove that because once I am done with my testing, I'll delete my instance and rest of the things I don't want. So I'll just go and create my instance. So once it is created, we'll see how we can connect to our private Cloud SQL instance. So till the time it is being created, let me show you one more thing. So whatever the private service connection we created, you can verify that here in VPC private service connection. And if I scroll down, you can see this PSC we created private service connection. Okay. So the producer is Google Cloud Platform and this is a peering names. And you can see this appearing name also. You can verify this peering. It would be present here. Yeah, you can see VPC peering. It peered your uh, database VPC to your service networking. So let's see if our instance is created. Let me refresh this. Okay, so this private instance got created now. It took almost five to seven minutes. And after this time, I can see it is up and running now. 